All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Sergio Brodsky with us. He is an internationally experienced marketing and innovation strategist, a columnist at Marketing Magazine, and chairman of prestigious The Marketing Academy alumni. He is passionate about cities, culture, and the role of brands in society. So welcome to the show, man. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be there. Of course. Pleasure to have you on. So, Sergio, the first question we ask on this show is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? <laughs> That's a good one. I think the best story was when I completely pivoted my career and decided to do what I really love. There's nothing like combining your passions to something that you can identify that you're good at as opposed to taking a very safe route without too many, too many risks. So, uh, yeah, having changed my careers was the best story. And that happened when I, when I still was uh, a lawyer. I specialized in IP law and uh, completely changed from an opportunity that I had to go and study cognitive science. And then I moved into a new continent, to a place that I didn't know the language, I didn't know anyone. Uh, and starting something completely new. That that was almost like landing in Mars and trying to find my way. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and then what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? I would say it's about leadership. There's a very different uh, uh, type of behavior between a manager and a leader. And uh, leading orders and leading teams and leading people is something that can take you to places where you haven't been before. When you're managing, you're always dealing with known factors. When you're leading, you're dealing with unknown factors. You're, you're being brave to brave enough to embrace ambiguity. And that's something that, I, that I've learned a lot, especially in these days of innovation and disruption. When you don't know what's coming next, just give it a go, take a shot, be risky. Uh, be, be a risk taker and lead the way. Don't just manage what you know. And then what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. My, the best overall piece of advice is trust those who are working with you. Give them the trust to earn the trust back. There's no other way. And then if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? <laughs> continue taking risks don't be afraid and then kind of going down a different path in your opinion what is the key to happiness relationships nothing beats that having healthy relationships it's something extremely valuable especially for someone like me who's been living all over the world for the last 15 years or so uh, it's kind of hard to live this uprooted life especially when every two years we're in a different place so keeping those relationships healthy and the constant is, is really what keeps you going in a good way. And then what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? I think the best book I read was, uh, it's called Spent from this uh, evolutionary psychologist called Jeffrey Miller. Uh, and uh, he pretty much dissected all of the emotions that make up uh, the human mind as well. And Try, uh, in understanding that you're able to connect people's preferences with uh, who they are, not something that is quite hard to match. And uh, for someone like me working with brands and communication, being able to build those emotional connections is, is super important. Uh, otherwise, you just get lost in the sea of choices that we have nowadays. And then what is your favorite quote and why? That's from uh, General Hannibal, and uh, he once said, if there isn't a way, we'll make one. And why, why do I like that? Because that's life. Life is unpredictable, is unplanned, and even when you have a plan, it will always change. So if you find yourself stuck in some dead-end alleyway, make your way, jump the wall, dig a hole, find something different to continue going and never give up. Mm. Yes, man. Um, well, dude, thank you so much for coming on. The last one I got for you before we let you go is where can our audience best find you online? 
I would say LinkedIn. I'm quite active. I also have my column or on a marketing magazine. That's a good place, but come to LinkedIn. Let's chat. Perfect. Thank you again for coming on. Thank you. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.